A vote is expected tonight on a contentious issue on Long Island, whether to continue operating those red light cameras in Suffolk County. CBS 2's Carolyn Gossoff is live in Hop Hog Forest where drivers gave lawmakers an earful already. Carolyn. Dana, good evening. It has been hours of very passionate debate on a very divisive issue here in Suffolk County, the red light camera program. Clearly, it's imperfect and changes are needed, but we are still waiting for a vote. Get rid of it. With one last shot to steer Suffolk legislators away from its red light camera program, drivers sounded off. All my neighbors, all my friends just get these tickets and they're not unsafe drivers. I have to now budget 4%, 5% of my income now to pay for tickets. It's baloney, baloney. Our rights are being violated. And I'm just saying, just stop it. Find another way to pay your bill. Most of these cameras are in the poor neighborhoods. 100 intersections, $30 million in annual revenue from tickets, and countless complaints from drivers who call it a money grab. The program would expire without a five-year extension. Drivers reminding lawmakers of the impact of $80 tickets, most of them for failure to fully stop before a right on red. Very unfair to the working people. We're trying to keep our head above water here. First responders are telling you the accidents are up in this intersection. It's a no-brainer here, guys. Come on. Lawmakers split mostly along party lines, Republicans against, Democrats in support, but with program changes, like reevaluating camera locations, like this one outside a shopping center. It's definitely a gotcha. It's a trick. That's not a location that had any history of any accidents. Opponents cite this recent study that found accidents up 60% at camera locations. The county executive blames that on distracted driving. I don't think there's any question in any legitimate analysis done anywhere in the country that rear end crashes are up dramatically because of distracted driving. They do work. People have to learn how to drive again. And some here want the issue put to the voters. Let's hear what the people of Suffolk County really have to say about this. Not what those people up there think is best for us. So will the cameras stay? Each legislator currently weighing in, many of them crediting the cameras with saving lives, nearly all of them agreeing that changes are necessary, promising a complete review of all 100 intersections, all of those locations where cameras are, and a driver education program. Reporting from Hop Hog, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. All right, Carolyn, keep us posted. Thank